I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question. Normally I don't take questions with a lot of decimal values but I thought it is important to take at least one. So what I have done here is that from the given table I have already drawn a scatter plot and we will start from there. The question now is it's an application of quadratic functions. We have a scatter plot here which shows the height of a ball in meters versus horizontal distance in meters. You need to draw a curve of best fit from the scatter plot. Determine an equation for your curve. Estimate distance when the height is 20 meters. This you have to do from the graph. And the last part is to calculate height when distance is 20 meters using the equation which you derived in part B, right? So you can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now the values are all in decimals. Uh, the graph which I've shown is very light. You can't really see the lines. So I'll read out few values which are going to help us uh, make the line of best fit. What you observe here is that these two points are fairly horizontally placed, right, uh, from the given information. So, so if I kind of join these two lines, then midpoint between these two, which could be along this axis, uh, seems to be the axis for the parabola, right? So I'll estimate that to be the, the axis where the vertex will lie. Correct. So that is one estimate which I am making and uh, it is less than 25 so we will take a value uh, which is uh, less than uh, let us say uh, uh, let us say which is uh, 24 for example. Okay so, so I am taking this value as 24 on the vertex right. Now, to get the highest point, I will kind of sketch the graph and see where it comes. So we'll just plot with a parabola, right? Kind of like this, a smooth curve which kind of bends here. So it could be like this. So I'm drawing it light so that if required, it could be corrected, correct? Okay. So that's the parabola which I have made uh, and I will call this as my line of best fit. So from here what I observe is that this becomes the vertex, right? And this vertex is very close to 30 but not quite there. Not quite there, right? So let me say that this vertex is at 28 right so let's take a value here so because this is 20 this is 25 so 6 7 8 it looks fairly close to it could be 27.5 but let's take it 28 okay so these are the values which we are reading from the graph and here I'm taking a value of uh, 24 for the axis is it okay now with these two points, I can always write down the equation of the parabola. We can say the height, which is y here, is equal to a times. We don't know what a is. We'll use the 0, 0 origin to calculate a. x is the independent variable. Take away 24 whole square. So we are writing in the vertex form height is 28. So we'll say plus 28, right? So that becomes the equation for me. And here we'll use the point origin, which is 0, 0 to find the value of a. So if I substitute 0 for y, when we get a equals to 0 minus 24 whole square plus 28, right? Bringing 28 to the left, we get minus 28 equals to a times 24 square and that will give me the value of a 
as minus 28 divided by 24 square. Okay, so let's use the calculator. We could actually write in fractions also. Let us see. So we'll do 28 divided by 24 square and that gives you 7 over 144. So we'll use fractions itself 7 over 144. In decimals, however, it could be written as 0 0.05. I could write this as 0 0.05, right? So anyway, so let's use 7 by 144. It's with negative sign. So what we get here is the equation of the curve. We already approximated a lot, so I'll keep this as a fraction. So we have y equals to minus minus because moving downwards it makes sense so a is minus 7 over 144 x minus 24 whole square plus 28 so we have already drawn the line of best fit we did the first part and now we also found the equation of the parabola which we have sketched using the scatter plot third part of this is estimate height estimate distance when the height is 20 meters so height is 20 meters so you can draw a horizontal line in this way do you see that horizontal line like this it crosses at two points right so these are the two points now to get the height we have to read the distance on the x axis so that becomes one point and then the other one here will be somewhere here is it okay so so for part three we can write that the distance x is equal to so this is like 15 so it could be uh, 10 11 12 it could be about 12 right say okay so it's x equals to 12 and x equals to uh, 34 there is 35 x equals to 34 when so both are in meters, both are in meters for y equals to 20 meters. Is it okay? So that is how you are going to read. So basically you will draw a horizontal line and that is the value on the x-axis which will give you the right answer. So you may get different answers, correct? Okay, now so we have done this part and the last part here is to calculate height when the distance is 20 meters. So let's use this equation y is the height so we say y equals to a is minus 7 over 144 and we have 20 minus 24 whole square plus 28 right so let's use the calculator to figure this out so what I will do is we'll do 20 minus 24 20 minus 24 so you get minus 4 uh, now uh, okay, actually I should put it in brackets. Square is always positive. Is it okay? So anyway, so what we will do now here is we'll do um, uh, If I square Okay, let's put it in brackets. That is kind of important, right? So we'll do brackets 20 minus 24 bracket close square times within brackets minus 7 divided by 144 bracket close plus 28 let's do like this right and we get an answer which is 245 over 9 and this could be written in decimals as 27.2 so we get 27.2 as the height at the distance of 20 right so so the distance of 20 which is approximately here for us seems to be 27.2 correct so that is what we calculated is it okay somewhere here is it okay so that is how you can actually use the given points normally you will be given these points in the form of a table of data from there you can plot that is scatter plot and then do what I did I hope that helps you to understand how to write equation in a quadratic form from the given data in table 
for a parabolic path which could be as an application shown here height of a ball with distance i hope that helps thanks for watching and all the best